Hey everybody, Sion here. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please at the end of it, make sure that you uh, list them. I'll post this on the Facebook page and on the YouTube channel. Um, what we're going to talk about is how we need to deal with Ilganoth. Now this right here is the top execution currently that's available for our item level. And it's relative to the time frame that we're going to end up having to do it. So what you're going to get to see is two rotations through Phase 1 and Phase 2 and how they deal with it. I'm going to do a uh, play-by-play, -play, but it's nowhere near going to be as good as Madden or anything like that. Uh, I'm just going to kind of focus on where we want to be, talk about that at points, talk about how we want to deal with movement, and then let's talk about the kill order in a, in a more accurate fashion, all right? So let's go ahead and let's get started, all right? So what you see here is that they've added some new emblems to the replay so that you know who's who as far as their symbol up here and to their role, which is great. And as you see right off the bat, one tank goes to this direction, a couple of rogues over here probably for um, doing interrupts and whatnot to assist with keeping the, um, the, the dominator under control. Uh, it's, all the DPS is burning one target and the other DPS is over here working with the interrupts with the other tank. Heels are positioned in this middle section here all directly in front of the eye. The eye of course is relative here. But an element in this replay that I want to make sure that you're observing consistently and, and understand and, and comprehend right is that they play the entire time like right in here. And their damage thresholds for this execution, like I said, is the top field execution for our item level. Um, we outperform them by about 800,000 per second, if not higher, especially during um, the most targeting phases. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick it back up. Continuing, you still see the position here. Range is working on the target. Target's starting to wrap up. As soon as it does, they ended up rotating over to the other side. So we're going to go ahead and watch for that. And this is exactly how we start off. We engage one side and then we go after the other. Okay. So we've got all the damage coming through. Here's the um, blobs. I wanted to take a point at that real quick. All right. So with the blobs, what they do is they let it get to about 10 or so. And then it, and what they deal with is the adds appropriately. So you're working with the Dominator. You take down Dominator 1, take down Dominator 2, and then focus on the adds as they come out. Now, again, we're going to go back to that kill order, right? Dominator tentacles take priority. Then it goes to Death Glare tentacles, Corrupted tentacles, and then the Nightmare Horror, okay? So what we need to do is watch uh, on the positioning of the Nightmare Horror as it comes out and how to respond with it appropriately and see, for example, how close that they keep everything relative to the eye so that way you can get the necessary damages off the blobs, okay? So we're going to pick it back up. And now you see, now the blobs are just going to come over and just interact. See how they're just following their targets like they're supposed to. Um, they're, they're, they're responding as they need to. Here's the death glare tentacle that's up. So your interrupt group comes over here. Look at all the damage. Everything moves over here. And everything starts to get a little bit closer. You've got a couple of outliers. But all those that are tagged right now, see how they're working with the blobs? They're bringing them in. So they destroyed what was here and then immediately blow up all the blobs. So it's Dominator, Dominator, and then um, Corrupted Tentacles, Death Glare Tentacles, took care of them, and then blew up everything to go ahead and start getting their percentage on the eye. So on that rotation, they've took out, it looks. I think it gets to 50%. So the, see how close they are? See how everybody's fluctuating in and out? They're fluctuating in and out because of the debuff that's present, but that debuff, I think, was being cleansed, for example. And it's only really a big deal for you to want to rotate into your defenses if that's the case, like you get up to a really high amount of stacks and you see your health is dropping due to the explosions. But, I mean, the explosions also have, like, a five-second period, and, and, you know, you've got time to get out. Big red circle on ground, get out, right? <laughs> Me got it. So, uh, okay, so now what we have here is the Nightmare Horror comes active. All DPS, because everything else is managed at this point, is now transitioning into the Nightmare Horror. What you'll see here is the Nightmare Horror will be positioned accordingly to where they want to do it. I think they I think they pick it up and pretty much just keep it relative in this area here and kind of work this way with it. When And then everybody else responds to the additional ads as they come through. Okay, so here we go. Move forward some more. And what you start to see is everybody's working the damage. They've got good spacing. Currently, it's facing this way because there's your tank. The, uh, an element, oh yeah, another element I want to add too is see how they're attacking from the sides. Do not be in front and do not be directly behind. Um, when we talk about how we're going to manage it, so see here's the movement. All the damage is going into it and then you have the corrupted tentacles spawn and the death glare tentacle spawn. They've got their interrupts coming over and currently it seems like they're continuously, no there's not really pure DPS in that. So they switch to their targets. The, um, there's a couple that are working on it. They clearly have a group that's going to be responsible for that. Um, so they're burning these up. Um, I feel this is a little protracted and when I talk and I show you, you know, as far as how I'd like us to approach it, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot cleaner. Like this is a lot more spacing than I want us to do, to be honest. 
if, for example, like we have the Nightmare Horror spawn here and it, it's consistent. They're either going to spawn in this area or they're going to spawn in this area. We need to get the, the Nightmare Horror um, during, you know, the rotation, like when the tank rotation comes in and there's a taunt, they, they swap. We need to bring the, the Nightmare Horror, like if we're right here, we need to bring the Nightmare Horror like in that direction. Or if we're here, we need to bring the Nightmare Horror in that direction. So that way we maximize D DPS thorough put. Range can sit there and participate in getting rid of the Death Glares. The Corrupteds aren't too bad. They just put more goo down. You know, but eventually the goo goes away once we pop the eye. So in, in avoiding what's on the ground, it, it you know, it's just basically an active passive. So, you know, it, the big thing is to not stand in it and you're fine, right? So the, uh, having a little bit of excessive extra isn't that big of a deal. But on the death glares, it is. You know, we have to get the death glares down and then we have to take care of getting the nightmare horror down. So the, the positioning here again, tanks, don't bring it down in here. Um, what we're going to want to look is to get the Nightmare Horror in a position here. And what we're going to do is just a simple two-flag positioning. And what you're going to do is you're going bring, you're gonna, to you're gonna bring it up. And we're going to do damage to it as it comes up to where this spot here. Okay? And then once you're up here, then you're just going to come down this way with it. And then immediately turn around with it during in between a taunt. Uh, remember, it's because you can get you get a swap right here. You've got two times that the attack's going to come through for you to be able to turn it and then just position it and walk it back up. So what we kind of want is a straight line down and then an oval back up with it. And then the whole time, DPS can stay here and range can stay here and shoot at it the whole time. Okay? Uh, as they move forward, you see the same action. They're about to wrap up the Nightmare Horror. Nightmare Horror is down. You're at 50%. Now they're positioning back this way. And they're going to go ahead and start clearing up. Um, for some reason, the blobs don't show that, that were spawned. But now they're doing it again. So see, this is the positioning that we need to do consistently. We need to get in here so that way we get the execution and, and, and the mass explosion. And every and if you're like these out here, these outliers, they're outliers because they're not being tracked. The ones that are here. So everybody else is here. And then this cat, I'm, I'm probably just waiting for the spawn point because that's where the tentacles are going to come up, right? The next... The next amount that they need. I think that they get down to like 10 or 20 percent for this rotation. See they're at 40, 35, 30. So I mean they're blowing them up. It's boom, 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 one after another. And so this is a really strong point for AoE, especially like for example if you're part of the team that's designated to do that, that'd be a good time to break your tome out. So 5 percent and zero. Boom, there it is. And so now they enter into the eye. They unfortunately had a death glare go active. So they're losing some time on the eye at this point. Uh, but they ended up taking out the death glare and now they're working it around. Now, so here's the stack point. This is phase two. This is the part here that we didn't get as many reps on. But trust me, tonight we are going to get more reps on it and we're going to get it down. So see how they spread out. Boom, there goes the explosion. You see the damage throw put occur. Looked like it was about half the rate in total. They keep working around the position. They're very, you're able to get really close, but they may put in a mechanic now that if you touch it, it bounces you back a little bit. So it's kind of, you know, you got to get really close, but not too close. And they work on the damage here, um, and that puts it at, they're at 60%. So they, um, I think you get a solid minute as far as what you see, because they entered in around here, and they wrap up shortly. This guy's coming out, so it's 30 seconds. No, it's 30 seconds, right? So they saved their hero for when they came back out. So that way they could start working on Dominator Tentacle. It looks like, yeah, there's one Dominator Tentacle. So there's a spawn down there and then a Dominator Tentacle 4. Okay, so we have spawn, spawn, I go, you know, here and here with Dominators. And then for the second half, they appear down here. And so they do the exact same, same approach as they did during the first phase. Then you start getting your blobs back out. They finish up the two targets, Dominator, Dominator. They clearly use Hero at that point. We want to use Hero on the inside and because, like, if you look at – it happened no matter what. So I guess they're using it to go clean into the second phase and not get overwhelmed. But they were able to get to 48%. As we get more loot and we get our item level up, like, say, for example, our item level for the team gets to an average of, like, 555 plus, we'll probably to 560 – We'll probably be able to blow that up and or at least get it down to like 20%, 10%, you know, if not eventually 
slay it, you know, on the first rotation. You know, and we're talking about, like, I don't know if they double potted or what they did as far as the rotation, but, like, double potting and, and transitioning that into uh, with heroism and, and, you know, if you get a good cooldown rotated in at the same point, too. Um, yeah, man, wow. We'd be able to blow up quite a bit, especially if the whole team does it as a whole. All right, so that's that's the entire fight. Please, you know, comment below if you have any questions. Uh, again, like I said, we'll go back to the beginning here before everybody pops up. Um, we're going to sit there and we're going to make sure the tank's working here with the Nightmare Horror. Everybody needs to make sure they're piling up properly. Kill order is Death Glare Tentacles, then Corrupted Tentacles, and then back to the Nightmare Horror. If we manage it properly and all of our DPS pours into the target as we call it out, and everybody just gets used to that ping pong motion of where we have to go, we'll be in great shape. If you kind of see here, there's kind of like a square. We're going to use four markers to do that. We're going to put four flags down, and then those four flags are going to represent the positioning that we want to keep everybody in. Okay, so it's going to be kind of like the general space. You don't have to stay in it, but be as near it as possible and work functionally um, through each one of them until we get to the eye down and and then work on the heart, okay? I appreciate you taking the time watching the video. Have a blessed day. I'll see you in the raid later tonight, okay?